Alright, what's up you guys, Stranger Things here, back with another video. Now, many of you liked the previous video we did on Data Quest versus Data Cam. So today we are going to be tackling another MOOC powerhouse, which is Udacity. And I know I've taken quite some time with this video since the last one, but I really wanted to make it count. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. As the title suggests, I was given a chance to try out the introductory course to one of Udacity's nano degrees and needless to say, I was elated. And as far as I know, this scholarship doesn't come easy. So in this video, I'll just be sharing my thoughts on the scholarship experience thus far. So first things first, I'd like to explain how the scholarship works. Participants are granted access to Phase 1 of Udacity's exclusive Microsoft Azure Machine Learning Introduction course for a couple of weeks until the 10th of September, after which access to the introductory course will be closed off and only 300 participants will be selected for Phase 2, which is essentially access to the full nano degree syllabus. Now here's what the actual online course looks like. It comprises of video lessons, peppered with questions to test the learner's understanding of the concepts covered, and also lab sessions which involve logging on to a virtual machine to test some of the features Microsoft Azure has to offer. The scholarship is still ongoing currently, and I think many of the participants will be gunning for the Phase 2 Nano degree as that comes with actual certification, whereas there's no such cert for Phase 1 which is more of an introductory course to Azure Machine Learning. Now, the selection is done via class participation. I think that this is a fantastic idea and I'll show how this has benefited me and perhaps the other scholars as well immensely. Here, I'm showing the landing page where Udacity admins have introduced a plethora of activities for students so there's really no lack of opportunities to earn those brownie points for getting a shot at the nano degree. Now most of the interaction is done on Slack and I'll just be highlighting some of the ongoing events as there's way too many for me to list them all. First up, there are AMA sessions held weekly where community managers will answer many burning questions posed by the participants usually related to the conduct of phase one of the Udacity course. Usually, these are held on Slack, but as you can see, there are also special Zoom sessions incorporated as well. This is some footage that I took from one of the special Zoom AMA sessions. Another cool event that I took part in was the video challenge. Well, technically, I missed the deadline for this event due to a pretty busy schedule that week, but I still went ahead to create my own machine learning related infographic in the spirit of fun. I'll also be showing some snippets of Study Jam, which was a special 24 hour event to get the scholars to congregate virtually and learn as well as encourage one another, especially to help out the participants who were struggling to complete the online courses for phase one, which is necessary for course completion. So these are some of the study jam webinars that I went for. Most of them were covering topics that were kind of related to the Microsoft Azure machine learning course, but not entirely similar. I got to learn about many different aspects of artificial intelligence, machine learning, data science in general from these webinars and how they can be applied to many applications in the real world. Now one event that has really helped me to stay on track throughout the whole course is the 50 days of Udacity challenge. The rules are simple, we just have to post daily on something new that we have learned which is related to artificial intelligence and provide encouragement to at least 3 other users. And as you can see, this worked out beautifully, the community is incredibly receptive and I've never had a post with less than 3 reactions. Alright, so most of what I covered so far are just scholarship perks, but I'm also in the process of trying their regular courses to get a non-scholar perspective. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to get a scholarship, but if I do and you guys are interested to learn more about the nano degree program, I'll be sure to update you guys with a subsequent video. I've also got more videos lined up, so if you don't want to miss those, be sure to leave a comment on what type of videos you'd like to see next. And with that, thanks for watching and keep learning.